Welcome to another episode of Around the Campus Podcast. Today we have Jeff in the studio, and What's Jeff up? is a uh, graduate. When did you graduate? Uh, I think it was January 21. It uh, might have been 20, no, 22. 22? 22, 22? All yeah, right. Time goes by so fast. I, I know it notice. does. <laughs> so you were in the probably the November semester because you were yeah. in the daytime class. And um, let's go back uh, to the beginning here. Uh, let's talk about how did you, A, find out about the school, and B, um, what did you think when you first kind of came in? Yeah, well, uh, I worked a job and I was like, this is just, you know, I'm done with this. I got to do what I got to do and do stuff that I want to like, you know, in the field that I've, uh, you know, grown to love, which I've been around cameras and audio and stuff, been in bands and always shot music videos and stuff like that. So I was like, I got to do something in that field. And my mom's like, you've been trying to go to CSB for all this time. So let's, let's, let's do it. And yeah, then I came and looked around and I was like, I think this, uh, might be nice and I still couldn't see myself in that field just like too good to be true and then came here and fell in love with it even more and actually learned how to use the equipment that I've been using forever probably the wrong way but you know what I mean I, right I learned and then you know two days later I got a call from Mike Delgado of the Yard Goats because Rob Pendel uh, was like if anyone wants to work for the Yard Goats shot a, a, a email to Mike Delgado he interviewed me and I was hired right there. Yeah, and the rest is history. Yeah. All right, so let's slow it down a little bit. You yeah. kind of went through everything in a nutshell. So uh, <laughs> yeah. we got the quick cliff note version. Yeah. So you come in uh, for a tour. What did you think of the facilities? What did you think of uh, the school and um, you know what it could offer you? Yeah, well, I came and uh, looked at all the equipment. I was like, all right, this is cool. A little intimidating at the same time because I was like, all right, this is like professional equipment and stuff. I've used like hi cameras and like dvc cameras or dvx whatever i had and dlc is not any of the big ones or any of the switchboards and looking at it you're just like oh god yeah so yeah you know it was uh, right. i was like but this seems really fun and i could learn this stuff so and you come in for your first day of class and uh what did you think of um uh your instructors and the style and the approach yeah well to I, teaching when i came in um i know we had the little uh you know, interviews at first or whatever we we called it when we met the teachers and stuff like that. And right. uh, Rob was there and he was talking about stories and he was like, oh, I did stuff with the Beastie Boys. I was like, sold. I already, yeah. already like that story. And Joe was just comical as he always is, kind of, I don't know, kind of like Jack Black or something like right. that. He gives me a little Jack Black, <laughs> Jack Black vibe. So uh, I was already like, all right, these guys are cool. They all have stuff behind their uh, belts in that field. So, I mean, Figured I could learn stuff from these guys. Right. And what did you think of the learning style compared to other schooling that you've had? It, it was great because I didn't have to go home and do, you know, read a bunch of books and, uh, you know, study, study, study. It was just, you know, go home, do some editing, maybe grab a camera and shoot some uh, 12 shots, I think is what we did, or 10 shots, I think. Yeah. Um, and, you know, it was really cool. It, was, it wasn't really like homework-based, right, right, right. based stuff. It but still all, work to be done. Yeah, there's still stuff to be done, but actually fun stuff, which right. you know, hands-on and is, is a lot more fun than, you know, stressing about stuff. I didn't really stress about the projects we had and was confident in most of them, too, which was cool. Right. And uh, how about being in with a group of students that are all like, like-minded individuals? How was that part of the experience? That, that was cool. And we had like a really good class. Like we had, I think, four kids straight out of high school and then maybe six six or so that were you know around my age and then we had james who was you know kind of like the ringleader for all of us right 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 <clears throat> yeah i think james is now uh morning show host at wdrc so yeah, yeah. i hear um mike arisco is his name he's on, yeah. i hear him on the 104.1 as well yeah, and yeah. i was like wow it's yeah. nice to drive around and hear the guys i went to school with and right right so yeah you know like you know, Did you have Joshua in your class? Uh, no, he was at the he was in the next class, I think. But he oh, worked, right. he worked a couple of months at Yard Goats with us doing audio. Right, yeah, and, was, and then he went to another place. And then now he's up at a production company up in um, Putnam, Connecticut. Yeah, I heard he's doing. Doing yeah, a lot. Yeah, 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 he's doing well. So uh, back to you. Um, so you kind of um, complete the uh, process at the school and. Um, uh, kind of graduate, quote unquote, but here you are back at the yeah. school today to help out the group of students. Um, talk about work ethic and what it takes to get into the industry. Like, what do you what do you need to do after the schooling? Which I think is a very important ingredient to the the success of you here at the school. Yeah, I mean, I think like following up and just continuing pursuing something in that field instead of like graduating and just going on with life. You know what I mean? I know right. a couple of kids that just you know were here and just continued the same jobs they were at and didn't really seem like they wanted to keep going and, you know, grabbing a camera or, you know, starting a podcast or anything like that. So I feel like 
just staying with it and keep looking and you know yeah <clears throat> always yeah. always looking online for little g- gigs and you know little freelance opportunities yeah and so what are you doing now with the yard goats uh basically mainly camera i do uh expression which is basically graphics and lower thirds and stuff like that like players right. batting averages they throw like dance cam on the jumbotron i just got to click I'm very good at it, and I don't make Rob mad, so. Yeah, and what's nice is I think your roles are expanding past just the games, right? Yeah, for the most part. Like, I've done graduations. Uh, I did a Lego Fest last year, so they had all the workers from Lego Fest, and on the concourse of the park, they had, like, Pac-Man, uh, Mario arcade games, and people jumping on trampolines, doing backflips and stuff, and here I am with a wireless camera, like, walking around following it. I'm like, wow, this right. is this is reality. And like, I think there's a lot of CSBers down there, right? Uh, more than half of our squad is CSB. <laughs> CSB, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And they're, so, all, they're all good kids, and, you know, it's nice to work with them. And we all Well, work. and I think what's cool is that most everybody, like yourself, I mean, you had passion for this field before you got here. Yeah. Then you came here, got even more passionate, and now you're out there being passionate about it. And um, I think that's what a lot of these other students who work at the Yard Goats are, too. You know, they're yeah. just passionate individuals so to kind of wrap things up if you were to bump into somebody in the street i know maybe a csb student actually said some words to you about uh the school right steve parker or something like that Uh, yeah 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 um so what would you say to somebody who was thinking about the school or it's funny you say that because i actually did a uh like i made a commercial with students that came to the park and they shadowed our production crew and i I was just there you know filming them and well shooting them you know right Um, filming i guess because shooting could be (laughs) not (laughs) taken the correct way these days yeah uh, yeah. so um but uh i told a couple about i told them about csb and was like you know i worked a couple jobs before that and went there it was a quick path and here i am doing this and they're like wow so yeah i did recommend it but uh yeah i mean yeah very stoked that I came here, and if it wasn't for here, I would be, who knows, you know, flipping, flip, the other job. flipping burgers or, you know, yeah. anything like that. So, you know. Well, but. glad to see that you're uh, having fun with it, being successful with it, and uh, that is, you know, the, the, the big you know, what we hope for most students, yeah. you know, uh, but again, you got to put in the work and I appreciate number one, the work that you did in class and the work you did after class to get yourself going. So congratulations thank to you. you and thank you for being a part of yeah. around the campus podcast. Thanks for having me.